Yeah, I've been around it since I was, you know, you know one years old. Um, Set in meetings all the time and just watch practice. And you know, I've always loved the game and I've always loved uh, drawing plays, especially at a young age. Um, you know, it gave me a good grasp of the game. I mean, they're horrible plays, I think, back then, but um, you know, I've always enjoyed that. And I think that he passed down, you know, good knowledge of the game and also I think more so uh, leadership abilities that he has, um, the ability to, you know, speak to to a large group and uh, just observing him throughout my. Uh, my time as a kid and, and, and up until now I still learn a ton about what it means to you know be the you know be a leader and, and, and be a good person. Well you move it, on average three to four years so I was a new kid nine times growing up so I was a new kid in fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade and twice in ninth grade and then a couple more times in elementary school but for those years I went to a different school every single year so that's something that you don't see you know you got to move your family out quite a bit, um, and you know that's tough on everyone. You know, I know a lot of coaches who just rent rent houses because it's you know they're kind of kind of a hired gun industry. You know, you come in to you know, flip a program or or win some ball games, and then you know sometimes you, you move up or sometimes you have to leave, and and that's just the nature of the game. It's a fickle business, and, and you know as we've seen with many examples, there's no rhyme or reason to anyone coming or going from a program. So it's, it's pretty hectic. You know, the entire year is based on 12 Saturday afternoons, whether you had a good year or a bad year. So it's pretty, pretty wild.